The transformation matrix M represents a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin. Write down the matrix M. The first thing we need to do is we need to write down our identity matrix. Your identity matrix is 1, 0 and 0, 1, which I'm going to write like this. And I'll also write it as a matrix. So that's 1, 0 and 0, 1. If I rotate this 90 degrees anti-clockwise, I'll be going in this direction here and this direction here. So where I once had 1, 0, I'll now have 0. 0, 1, so I'm going to write that here. So this will become 0, 1. Where I once had 0, 1, that becomes negative 1, 0. So I have negative 1, 0. And that's your final answer. Describe fully the single transformation represented by m squared. So given as it's m squared, that means it's m followed by m. So in other words, you're repeating the matrix transformation for m in the previous part again. So instead of rotating anti-clockwise by 90 degrees, you'll be rotating another 90 degrees anti-clockwise so your answer would just be a 180 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin and that's your final answer write down the matrix for the single transformation represented by m squared so if we refer to what we looked at in the first part of this question this diagram here now that we're rotating another 90 degrees anti-clockwise where i had one zero which was now zero one this will now become minus one zero so i can write that simply as negative one zero and where I once had negative one zero after the 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation taking it from this point zero one to negative one zero this will now become zero minus one so your answer is negative one zero zero minus one